I'm here at Meddings Group in Devon and today we're talking about this beast of a machine. So before we begin, we need a specification on this VMC 2010. So the XYZ 2010, um, absolutely monstrous machine. Uh, two metre by one metre bed uh, with a four axis and it can do up to, I think it's about 280 diameter. So the four axis means we can double up on some um, parts. So instead of doing up 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, we can now do up 10 and then the four axis allow us to do many operations at the same time. Mark, of all the machines that XYZ offer, why this one? Well, really, the, the main reason is that I was actually walking around the corner for having a look with Russell and the team, and I saw this, and it was just the wow factor. And I'm thinking in my head, you need to have that, Mark. And I didn't <laughs> even think about it. It yeah. was like, we need to have that. But then reality kicked in, and, the, and when I started to look a little bit more in depth with the machine, it covered a lot of things that I was looking for. One was, internally, it was going to support Medin's machine tools and Medin's Thermalec because we produce um, um, a lot of uh, tooling and castings that we actually get out of the UK, in China, and I wanted to bring it back into the UK. Brilliant. So, so that I can tell, turn around and say, we have a fully UK manufactured uh, machine. Therefore, so that was one of the key areas. The other thing is the opportunities to actually look at a marketplace. In this locality, there isn't, as we know, uh, many machines like this. So it would be able to give us that capability to machine larger and much bigger, maybe more precision uh, components. The XYZ, it's, uh, I think it's 20 ton in total. So it's a, a big cast base. Um, it's, it's just monstrous. Even just trying to get it in the factory, it's it was just, just amazing to watch the chaps uh, move it in and out. Well, the weight for us, it, it means that you can hit things a lot harder. Um, it's a more sturdy and rugged machine, so you can sort of hit things. So it's just really hard, basically, which obviously brings down uh, times and everything for us. Now you've had the spec of the machine, but we need to see the person who's using it. Welcome, Dale. Thank you for this, Dale. Hi. <laughs> right, Dale, what do you like about the 2010 machine? Well, the size of the machine allows you to put very large jobs on, machine them in one, one go, rather than moving the parts around. Right, we've got two metres in the X and one in the Y. We have, yeah. So what's so good about the construction of this? Just, it gives, gives you the, the massive width. Most machines tend to have a lot less movement in the Y, so you, you have to move the job from one, one side to the other, which means resetting a couple of times, whereas with this, as long as it's less than a meter, put the part on, just machine the whole part. Perfect. And the accessibility, I mean, the doors are, are massive here, but you've got a door over here at the back and on the side. So how does that help you? Oh, definitely. If, if you're looking, trying to look down the end of a job, then you can go and walk around to those doors, look through them. Obviously, don't open them for safety reasons. Yes, of course. But, um, and you, now, now I can see you've got the augers either side for the swarf um, evacuation. Yeah, that, that, that stops the channels getting blocked up with swarf. It pushes it down into the... Swarm conveyor. I think the the key things that for X Y Z for me for X Y Z was the it locality support, um, good relationship, serviceability, and most of all the the machines did what we wanted them to do, um, and from that basis we've we've picked a number of the machines that we are comfortable with that I feel will take this company forward, and also produce the quality of, of machine components we need. 